living anatomy of the thyroid gland. This is hyoid bone. It's situated at the level of the cervical three vertebra. This is laryngeal prominence. This is lamina of the thyroid cartilage. And this is cricoid cartilage. Lower border of the cricoid cartilage is situated at the level of cervical six vertebra. And there is a first, second, third tracheal ring present mm, within the neck. And this is the thyroid gland. It has isthmus and two lobe. So some important landmark of neck, the inferior border of the mandible, hyoid bone, Adam supple, thyroid prominence, then cricoid cartilage, then jugular notch, sternal head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, clavicular head of the sternocleidomastoid. This is clavicle, this is trapezius. So within any individual, you can identify following points. This is hyoid bone, this is laryngeal prominence, this is cricoid cartilage, jugular notch, clavicle, the sternal head, the clavicular head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, the trapezius. So first drawing of the isthmus, first point at the laryngeal prominence or Adam supple, second point at the jugular notch and third point the midpoint of this two point. And you know the isthmus measurement is 2.5 centimeter transversely and vertically. So draw two line and the diameter of this two line is one point to five centimeter, both vertically, both transversely. Now the upper pole, upper pole is conical. First point is the um, lateral end of the upper border of the isthmus. Second point, the at the sternocleidomastoid mus muscle, medial end of the sternocleidomastoid muscle at the level of thyroid cartilage. Then another point, the lateral end of the lower border of the isthmus, just below the isthmus, 1.25 centimeter below the isthmus, and 2.5 centimeter lateral from this point. Now join this line. This is the surface anatomy of the thyroid gland. So some related question may ask in the examination. What type of gland it is? It is obviously an endocrine gland because it has no duct and the secretion directly pass through the capillary. What are the parts of this gland? Two parts, parenchyma, stroma. Parenchyma is the main portion of the thyroid gland and it is formed by the thyroid follicle. And within the thyroid follicle, the wall of the thyroid follicle is formed by the follicular cell an occasional parafollicular cell situated just side of the follicular cell but within the basement membrane. Each follicle is filled with colloid which contains secretion of the thyroid gland. The secretion of the thyroid gland follicular cell secret T3, T4 and parafollicular cell secret calcitonin. Development of the thyroid gland parenchyma endodermal in origin thyroglossal duct which arise from foramen cecum of the tongue. Stroma, mesodermal in origin. Follicular cell, endodermal in origin and parafollicular cell, neural crest from ultimobronchial body. So, in like this type of picture, you can practice uh, to draw the thyroid gland. Like this, this is a point, this is laryngeal prominence, this is jugular notch. So midpoint of this two point, this is the point and draw two line. Then another point,
so you can practice like this and also practice in in uh, individual and this is all about today's video if you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel